Oh my goodness. How about this? This next segment, I'm telling you right now, is going to be riveting because oh, it is. Hello. Thank you very <laughs> Saw much. Saw what you did there. It's our staff, <laughs> our staff pick of the week. As a matter of fact, it's a good thing that we are on air and streaming Ooh. online. Thank you. <laughs> Two for Man. one special. I've been working on that for hours. You're learning your dad jokes to prepare. <laughs> no, no, yeah, there we go. Okay. Should be dad jokes. They are dad jokes, Take and that's note. what it's all about. But you can see we've been having some fun. And listen, we have been doing a lot of things. This is our last segment before we head and hit the road to our next stop in Florida. All oh, right. Yeah, it's going to be so warm. Yeah, before we do move on, just a quick reminder. Any questions you have about any of these rigs, anything with RVs, all that stuff, text RV to 46642. We got specialists waiting to talk with you guys and answer your questions right now. And you know what we're doing? We're giving away an RV coming up in just a little bit. I mean, that's actually going to happen. That's going to happen. Stick around for this next segment. We're giving it away. Wait, we're giving it an RV one? A full one. Like yeah. after this segment? After this one. So yeah. what you're saying is, if you're not registered, right now would be a really good time a really good to time. register. And how do they do that? You right got to text URBS to 46642. Register now to be eligible for that giveaway. You know, it's almost like this is the Golden Globes, and we're waiting who to see who's going to win Entertainer of the Year. This is the staff pick. So this is like... The Entertainer of the Year on NBC. And I am so excited about this next segment. Yeah, Nelly's been, we've been looking at Airstream models as well. I mean, we're happy with ours, but that's what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, why don't we do this? Because he has been working so hard, we're going to let him have his Golden Globe award-winning moment. <laughs> Chris, uh, uh, actually, Ian's going to do this one. Ian, take it away. Welcome, everyone, to Pick of the Week. This is the Staff Pick of the Week, week two. I'm super excited. Yay! I'm joined here with Tom, and this week we get to do Airstream. We love Airstream. Yes, yeah, it's absolutely. absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the most iconic travel trailers in the entire RV industry. And well, Tom, t tell me a little bit about it. Why do, why do people love Airstream? Well, it's, you said it, iconic. This is actually the 90th year for Airstream. Okay. 2021. It started in 1931. Uh, there's several reasons. Reliability, durability, value retention, and towability. Okay. No other trailer tows as nicely as an Airstream does, as well as an Airstream does. Okay. We'll talk about some of that stuff when we get outside. Yeah, and you talk about, you know, the, the durability. I mean, you can see here it has, like, that aluminum shell uh, that just, you know, like I say, iconic, right? It just brings it in, and you instantly know, like, that's an Airstream. Well, the big difference here is the shell is the structure. Okay. And that means that the, the trailer is built without any of this interior stuff being integral to the structure. It's not required. Okay. That's why the oldest trailers are still being refurbished and re reimagined. Yep. Currently, 75% of the Airstreams ever made since 1931 are in use and in service. 75%? 75%. That's incredible. That number keeps going up because people keep resurrecting the old ones. Sure. And they can do that because that shell structure is still viable. So it's one of those things where, you know, when it, when you make the purchase, it truly is an investment because it's one of those, like, you know, it's something you can pass down to the kids, right? We call them generational RVs. They're 50-plus okay. year trailers, so they're going to last a long time. It's incredible. Now, this, pa this year for 2021, actually mm -hmm. January 2020, they took out the last Achilles heel. The used to be the wood, wood floor underneath, wood subfloor. Okay. Now it's a one-piece composite. So if wow. you look at any of those All old right. videos where they're refurbing, yep. They always are repairing floors. Yep. We don't have that Achilles heel anymore. Love it. Love it. Now, what are we in currently? This is, this is kind of like a twin bed setup here. What, what Airstream are we sitting in, Tom? We're in a 25 front bed international. Okay. The front beds are among the most popular in Flying Cloud International or uh, Globetrotter. Okay. And the twin beds in the 25 are extremely popular, partly because of what we're doing right now. Yeah. So right now we're have, we have turned the living the bedroom into another living area. I love this. So we could sit here, have a conversation. There's a TV here. We could easily set up a little table and have a card game, mm -hmm. anything like that. And the other benefit is if, uh, if mom and dad uh, are traveling and maybe sure, stop it. Or, or maybe maybe uh, dad wants to take his fishing buddies out. Oh sure. They don't have to cuddle on the queen bed. <laughs> they can have their own beds. So it becomes a little more flexible. Yeah. Uh, I've even had customers who've managed to set this up with a pull out piece of uh, plywood, put a 
crib mattress in here, and then you have a big king bed too. So oh, it slides go. back away when they're not using it. So there's hey, lots of ways to deal with it. That makes sense. But twin beds have been extremely popular. You, probably uh, almost 50-50 now. Wow. Well, let's let's take a walk and show everyone kind of the, the sure. rest of the trailer here. I mean, it's it's very unique. You know, you kind of have like the, the porthole here, right? Like going into the bathroom. That's This is a split bath, so we have okay. toilet uh, and potty closet with vanity over here. Okay. Shower on this side. Okay. There is a curtain to close here. This. I'm gonna open this up real quick, see what we got. Oh yeah, okay. And there's actually a fan on both sides, a small okay. vent fan. And Shout, uh, curtain both sides, so we can right. close this off any way we want, as a suite, as a dressing room, whatever. And now, Tom, what, what do we have here? Is this for the AC? Yeah, this is Airstream's Quiet Stream ducted air conditioning. Okay. So think about, uh, uh, you know, an Airstream. Uh, uh, excuse me, an air conditioner that sticks down inside is mm -hmm. like kind of like a window awning. Window sure. Airstream. I can't talk today. You're, you're okay. That's all Man. right. Window unit air conditioner. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Getting that straight. Um, <laughs> and they're a little noisy. Yep. So the quiet stream is so much quieter. Okay. So it's also a heat pump. So it does, oh, it does. heat and cool. That's awesome. That's great. Right. So, you, so you can have an electric heat option, basically. Right. This one Very has cool. one. It's optional to have two. In okay. two, we have two zone heating and cool. Oh, very nice. Main heat is still propane. All right. Looks like we have solid surface countertops here in the kitchen. Actually, co actual Corian. Okay. Minus the, <laughs> <laughs> sure, the sure. antifreeze sleeping yeah. pantry. Okay, and then now, now talk to me uh, about this, right? Like we kind of we have the the big beautiful dinette, the seating area in the back. I love what we have going on in the back. Well, both of these will make a bed, so we have s seating, um, but also that hatch is really, really popular. We can now use this kind of like a toy hauler. Okay. Haul our bikes or car kayaks or oh, paddle boards. Oh, yes. But my favorite part of it is it's a patio door on the world. It's got a screen that comes down so I can sit there and take the outsor outdoors and bring it in. I love it. Not only beautiful, but it's functional. And, and one of the best parts about this, Tom, is for the show, because this is the, the staff pick of the week, we get an absolute amazing deal on this one, folks. This International Serenity, you're looking at starting at $114,625, which is as little as $22.93 a day. And we talked about lightweight. This one dries under 4,800 pounds, so very towable as well. Excellent right. price, very towable. I love what we have going on. Let's check out the outside a second sure. time. Like I say, this is... This is absolutely iconic, right? You come outside, you see this, it's picturesque. It's like a Instagram uh, moment just waiting to happen. Yes, uh, these trailers take 350 labor hours to put together. It's all hand done, the same way they've been doing them for almost all 90 years that the company's been in business. Each one of those rivets is a buck rivet, so that's hand done with two people, one person inside, one person outside, and they're so skilled at it, they get to the point where they just know what the next person's going to do right away. It's really, really uh, a labor of love to build these together. This door is eight man, eight labor hours by itself. Just for the door. And Ooh, it solid. closes like a vault. So it's really solid. Um, still has a screen door that separates. Well, and, and you know, it's funny because, you know, I've, I've often wondered why they're not replicated, right? why, why they're not imitated, at least not well. But, but now we know because you're putting a ton of labor and it sounds like a lot of skill in, in building these. It's not, in, you know, just a, another travel trailer. I mean, there is definitely a skill to, Nine, to build. 90 industry. years of improvement. See, Wally Byam's mantra was don't make changes, make improvements. Love so it. 90 years of improvements that go into these trailers. It's incredible. Talk to me a little bit about the awning. I mean, it's it's a it's so a beautiful this, awning, nice and colorful. This is the Zip D power awning. Okay. Uh, international and above comes with a power awning. Uh, the standard awning though is manually deployed, but it, I can have one up in two minutes, so that's not a huge difference. Okay. Uh, but yes, in the LED lights, they're on a dimmer. Okay. As are all the cabin lights inside are on dimmers as well. The main cabin lights. Um, outside power. One of the great things about Airstreams, I'm uh -huh. getting off the awning a bit here, but Yo, you're good. there's towability. So each each wheel is on a tor torsion axle, so they independent okay. suspension, and then shock absorbers, and All a right. very low center of gravity and an aerodynamic shape. You just can't beat that. 
Speaking of aerodynamic and excellent towability, let's talk about the base camp right behind sure. us because this one is, again, very unique. I, uh, I love the take on kind of what they've done. It's very different from your standard Airstream. Really is, but based on an old design, Wally Byam, the founder's original trailer was started in, called the Torpedo in 1931. Torpedo. If you look at the pictures of that, this looks almost identical with the exception of the rear end. Really? Yeah. So it's based on the same design. Okay. It's really uh, a cool trailer. It's a more utilitarian, more camper, just like the name says, it's a base camp designed to be set up home and base. your base, home yeah. base, and go out and do your adventuring. It's much more rugged, much more Spartan, much more camper. Okay. We should now, tell, tell me real quick, before, before we head inside, tell me about the tires. I mean, those are incredible. Well, this is the uh, X package. So this has the off-road tires, okay. the three inch lift, all right. And the front and rear stone guards. That's the X package. Okay, and that's that's these guys here. Right. Okay. So so they have stone guards on the windows as well. It looks like. Right. All Correct. Right. The standard base camp would not have those. Okay. And then so you, what is this? We got propane. Dual propane. Here. Yep. There's sure. a little storage area here. Oh really? Where our tools and things would be. Okay. And then the tanks are right below there with an auto changeover regulator. I love it. This is really cool. What what is that? What is our weight on this one? I mean, it's got to be. What, what are Maximum we at? loaded weight is is 4,500 pounds. So your unloaded right, is about 3,500 pounds. Yeah. Love it. Step on in. See what we got here, Tom. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This so, is a, this is a great rear end here. This this whole the setup. Door. Got the hatch door for loading cargo. We've okay. got tie downs on the floor. All right. There are two sets of tables here, and they come in. They can be used in this high section, like we're doing right now, for okay. dining area. Okay. Or down low, they support the beds. This area can be set up with twin, twin. Okay. Double, single. Yep. Either way, one big bed. Okay. Or three quarters as a bed and one as a, and a small dinette. It also can be done as a U-shaped seating area or bench seating like we have right now. Okay. That space right Very there versatile. is storage. Okay. Now, so, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Now, the big thing about the 20 yes, is that's the, what I was going to get to. The, add, the addition is that we've added that U-shaped dinette up front and moved the kitchen to the side. Okay. That means now we have not just two sleeping areas here, but now we have a third. And, and that adds more storage. So there's good storage underneath that. There's a great storage underneath that. And we've added all this storage, all the oh, storage yeah. in the kitchen. The bathroom's pretty much the same. The storage above is pretty much the same as the 16. Okay. But it's just much more uh, stretched. It's also a little wider. Okay. So we got a little more space inside. Well, and, and to be honest with you, Tom, right? So I've always, um, the, the base camp was always not quite at the top of my mind when it comes to Airstream, simply because I have, I have little ones, right? But now with the 20X, I mean, this for me, it, it almost moved from, you know, just being a kind of like a couple's model to now, you know, you can, you can get it. This could be a family camper. It could be a family camper. Yeah, it could be a family camper. It's also great if you got a few more people want to go out and, you know, mountain bike or whatever. That's now three separate sleeping areas. Yeah, and you have, I mean, you have enough space. I mean, you can get, like you said, bikes, kayaks. Bikes, kayaks, yeah. All that can fit right in here. A ton of space. It make, like you said, makes a perfect home base. This trailer is so hot that... The wait, long, wait time is expanding every day. And okay. It's currently as long as 14 months. So Holy smokes. We have a few popping free now and again, but for the most part, they're a, so, a, it's, a it, it's a get in or, or you're not going to get one kind so, of thing. Okay. So, so it's one of those things, I mean, if, if you want one of these, it's essentially put your name on it now so that, so that you can get it. Because it, like you said, it's, chances are you're not going to go see it at a dealership because it'll already be gone. Yeah, we're keeping this one as our display here, so yep. we have something to sell off of, but uh, they're really hard to get. So here's the great thing, folks, is if you want to put your name on it, we have a special deal here running for the show. This one is starting at $54,400, which means you can pick it up for $13.03 a day. You can have an Airstream, the, you know, the story behind it, the, uh, you know, how iconic it is, the versatility of this. And you, you, like I say, put your name on it now so that you're not missing out. You know, so many people, they have this idea that the, the camping season is from, you know, like March to September, but that's not really true, right? Experienced RVers know that you have to start now. Now is the time to do it if you expect to do any camping, especially on something like this with how hot it is. And all you have to do to take advantage of that, folks, is text the word FRESH to 46642 and that will lock in your pricing. Tom, 
I love what we have done here. We, uh, we have so many more Airstreams here on the lot. We have two more to show you. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll get back to it. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. Welcome back to our staff pick of the week. And again, we are here doing some Airstreams, Tom. This thing is incredible. The seating in here is enormous. It's a party wagon, yeah. Yeah. You could have the whole campground in here with you. I, I love it. I mean, <laughs> if yeah. If you wanted to. And this is, so this is perfect for me, right? Because I, I like to entertain. Like my wife and I would love to entertain. Right here, you can have friends, you can have family. Everyone can sit at the table here. Um, now, does this does this drop down? Still at all? makes a bed over there, and this okay. still pulls out for a bed here, so you don't really, really lose any sleeping space, but you gain all this uh, openness for entertaining or you know gathering. And a ton of storage. A ton of storage. All this is storage underneath, with the oh, bins. Look at that. Um, you'll have storage under there. Oh, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the flooring. I like the flooring in here too. <clears throat> so Globetrotter is the top of the mid-sized trailers and it okay. shares some of the appliances and features of our flagship classic. Okay. The flooring is one of those. This is a woven vinyl flooring. It's closed cell, so it won't absorb any liquids. And <clears throat> this it. comes out of the yachting industry, as okay. does our fabric. Oh. This is called Spraddling Hitch. It is, uh, comes also out of the yachting industry. Very, very durable stuff. Okay. And also won't absorb any liquids. So if you spill something, easy to clean up, stay easy looking clean. nice and, and, and pretty. And it's still really comfortable, isn't it? I mean, yeah. It yeah, feels it, great. It, and I love the color choice. Like it's kind of the blue. And I know you and I talked a little bit earlier, but with the wood, it pulls a little bit of that, the blues out of it. Yeah, this it's is super pretty. This is one of the two wood choices in a globe trotter. This is called okay. uh, natural elm, and it has kind of a bluish gray grain to it. Yeah. A real beachy look. Yeah, and for the sure. blue pulls that blue out of that grain. It just yeah. goes together so well. It's beautiful. And then it looks yeah. like we have some white uppers. Talk to me a little bit about what we got well, going up here. The, the decor here is really European. Okay. Uh, and it's American made, but it's European design style. Oh, yeah. And these, check out the hardware. These yeah, things are built to last a long duty. time. And now check out the mirror also. Can you see that? I can't see in there, but there's what's in the bottom. The that mirror is cool. Lets you can, see can what's you see down that on in there. camera? That is that is really neat. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. So, so yeah, like you said, it, it gives you that deep storage and still gives you the ability. The ability Even ability if to you're see short, it. you can see what's going on in there. Yeah, I like that. This side has our sound system, and okay. we have the high-end fusion system. It's Bluetooth, uh, has all the great features to it, and a subwoofer down below. Uh, Sony Blu-ray DVD player. So this gives us smart functions through our TV. Okay. If you're attached to Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, this is the same sound system that's in our flagship classic. Awesome. So a lot of great stuff here. Like, uh, a, like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so talk to me about the vents. A little, like, like these are a little bit different even for like, it looks like, I mean, are these directional? Is that? You can, you can close them off or okay. direct them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's a big part of, uh, yeah, and we did we miss one of the, then we, the lights aren't on over there. I don't know why. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Probably I don't have them, them turned off. That's okay. No. <laughs> then you have vent fan there. Oh yeah, um, there is a fantastic fan in here with a rain sensor, thermostatically controlled, three speed fan. Okay. It will, if it senses rain, it will close itself. Now, all right. That won't stop any water from getting in, but it'll prevent it from being a flood. So you can be confident sure. when you're away, and remember that water won't absorb into the flooring. I love that. So you can be confident when you're away, if you've got your vents open, that if it starts to rain, they're gonna, it's not going to be flooded when you come back. Very cool. Well, Tom, why don't, why don't you take me kind of through the camper, show me a little bit what we have here in the Globetrotter. This thing is, it's, it's long, it's sleek. I like the windows right here even, you know, it has that, 
that really cool look. And even on the top, this whole side is windows above that seat. Yeah, lots of windows. These are all um, and, and skylights. Those, and those are big windows. Yeah. And there's three of the skylights and three of the big windows. And look at how they open. That whole window opens into three Holy positions. Holy smokes. So add that to this fan, which can pull 920 cubic feet per minute through here and open all those windows all the way around. I You've got it. so much ventilation, you probably don't even need air conditioning. Which, which could be a big deal, right? If you're, especially now, you know, I know a lot more people are going like boondocking. It's a lot more popular. Um, yeah. And so something like this is, is hugely beneficial. Right. Very much so. No other RVs have windows that open like that. No. Corian countertops. Um, okay. Big deep sink. There's a, a sprayer on the faucet, and they're using um, high-end faucets, home faucets. They don't use. Uh, this is a. Uh, I can't even read it. I know my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> little little trash can or ice bucket. Okay. Um, do we do we have? I mean, do we have storage? Oh yeah, storage underneath. Lots right. of storage underneath. This okay. Is a little trash can, big deep drawers, okay. all drawers, all the gear. What do we? What do we have a little bit further back there, yeah, Tom? What, what do we got You got to check there? this out because yeah. this is incredible. This is, this is the big pantry. Hold, that is and wide. This opens also. You know, I've seen pull-out pantries. They're not normally that wide, right? You can fit like one can in there, and that's not the case at all there. That's no, huge. No, these are huge. That's amazing. And Big fridge. Okay. Um, that potty closet. Bathroom okay, okay, yeah. With the toilet. And then now is is the shower across the way then, right? On yes. this one as well? Okay. This is a split bath. Okay. So we have the ability to close these, these curtains. Okay. We got our double closet in the area here. And then the shower is on this side with its own light, its own vent. Now, Tom, are, are all of the, the, the Airstreams a split bath, or do we have floor plans that you can kind of get most all in one? Most of them are a split bath. There okay. are a few all-in-ones. Okay. But most of them are split baths because it's a very efficient way to use the oh, square footage. Oh, 100%. Now that bedroom is beautiful. Island queen bed. There are USB charging ports, regular char uh, outlets, uh, and that's true of most every Airstream. Okay. We've got a TV with an articulating arm so we can move the adjustment to where you can see it. Um, the lights in here in the cabin are on dimmers so we can dim this down if we want. Wow. And that's true in the main cabin too. And then underneath this bed is a lot of storage. Whoa, bins. buddy, look at all that storage. Outside storage is back there. That's coming in from the back. We'll see the door to that outside. Now, one of the things I like to highlight to people is there is no... <clears throat> there are no staples in an Airstream anywhere. It's rivets or screws. And this is a poplar light plywood, light called light ply, and it has laminate on both sides, and it's really, really rugged stuff. I, I, I love We're that. We're rocking the whole trailer when we do that. Well, we talked earlier about how it's a generational camper, and Tom, I think that helps play into that, right? The excellent construction. And when you're showing that storage, we talked about that outside storage. That's, Let's wander outside a little bit and kind of take a look at some of the features we have on the outside of the Globetrotter. And no worry about that noise. I always tell people airstreams don't like gentle. They like to be <laughs> forcefully closed, cabinet doors, so forth. You know, the, the fact that you can, though, is, is huge. And, and even the steps. I mean, those are pretty unique steps. This step has been used by Airstream since 1972. Okay. And it's really cool step. It's all aluminum. Folds up like this. Wow. Looks, it's gone. It looks part of the, the uh, yeah, profile. Yeah, very sleek. And then this is how it opens. All right. And then just roll it forward. Sure. I make it look hard. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. No, that is pretty simple. Make sure. I, got and it was, I mean, it was sturdy, too. Very sturdy. Yeah. I like that. Outside here, we also have, on a Globetrotter, power stabilizer jacks. So okay. we adjust those from here. All right. Front, Front and rear. Back. Right on. Furnace is serviceable from outside. We've got some outside outlets. This is our potable water tank. Okay. For filling okay. water. Um, you saw the power awning. Yeah. What do we got around back here? So, back this, here? so this one doesn't have the, the big door like we had no, earlier. No, that's only available in a couple of floor plans, the 27 and 25 okay. front bedrooms, because you have to have that rear lounge to make it work. Gotcha. This, all Airstreams, though, that have a bumper have this uh, wet storage area. Has Very to be cool. able to get wet, but it's great for 
hoses or blocking or anything like that. A big outside storage, we saw that from the inside. And it actually makes a lot of sense, and to be honest, I'm shocked that more RV manufacturers don't do that with their bumper. Like, it just, it's a good use of space. One of those things, we talked about, uh, you know, the innovation, right, that, that Airstream has had over the years, and that's right. fantastic right Am there. Am I in the wrong spot? <laughs> oh, you're good, you're good, buddy. So, uh, let's talk about windows again a little bit. Yeah. Look at how big that window is down there. I don't want to get too far down, but these are riveted in windows. They're man, not no clamp-in windows like most RVs are. Okay. So the riveted in windows require almost no maintenance over time. They're very, very positive seal. Okay. Also, these have got, Airstreamers bring their own shade a lot of times. These are window awnings. They just open like that. That is cool. And it has a cover on there to help protect it right. so it's not getting beat up. And it's umbrella fabric as, as that's what they use on all but the Bambi awnings. Awesome. That is, I love that. And then, is that a tankless water heater? Tankless water heater. Okay. Black water flush, outside shower, water, city water with a pressure regulator built in. Oh, that, that is nice. Yeah, yeah, that's, one of those things, PSI, yeah. that's one of those things I always talk about that's necessary that a lot of people forget is it's a water pressure here. regulator. Yeah, they, they're protecting all the plumbing from spikes in pressure. And the cool thing about this, Tom, the Globe Trotter is absolutely gorgeous. I love what we have here. Folks, we have an excellent price for the show, too. This one is starting at $126,975, which is under $25 a day for something that you will have, you know, for, like you say, generations. So you get to pass this down to the kids, that beautiful seating, perfect for entertaining. If you're interested, simply text FRESH to 46642. But Tom, let's say, you know, maybe this one's slightly out of the budget. Let's say there's about something a little bit smaller. We have the Bambi, right? We have the Bambi. Bambi comes in four sizes. We've got the smallest Let's one over here. Out. Let's go check it out. Absolutely. Yeah, look at this guy. She's cute. <laughs> so Bambi is the budget Airstream. So there's, okay. there's uh, probably 28 or so features that at first glance, you're not even going to notice are missing, but are sure. not here. Okay. Um, so, but it's still a very functional Airstream. It's built the same way. It's got the same structure. Yep. Uh, You'll notice one of the things missing is a bumper, but we have okay. tons of storage in the back of this little 16-footer. Okay. So let me just show you these bins, which come with the trailer. Oh, oh that's deep. Oh, and it's lit. All right. That is good a storage. A lot of storage, right? But yeah. there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait, more. there's more. I feel like the Sham Wow guy. <laughs> Holy cow. All that in this little thing? All that in here, and there is dual access. When we get inside, you'll see there's a door to get to that from inside that as well. That is too cool. But all that comes in here. That's, that's might, impressive. I, I wouldn't have seen that much storage in there. You might also have noticed that there's a uh, backup camera, rear view monitor on all the Airstreams with a microphone included. That is fantastic. And, and I, I really, the thing I like about this, Tom, and you know, like you said, that they, they had to strip some features. To, to get the price point down. But one of the things that I really like about the Bambi is it, it's, it helps kind of round out the Airstream line, right? Like there, there really is an Airstream for, for every lifestyle, for every budget. We've seen, you know, the ones like the base camp where you have something, um, you know, that, that's a, more for the adventurous, right? The outdoorsy ones. You have the Bambi, which, you know, helps kind of be that entry level into and the And still Airstream a little more life. plusher than the base camp. So yeah. we have uh, a family focused coach here that could still sleep four pe up to four people counting little kids. And this, we have tons of people with young families where mom and dad have their bed and the kids sleep on the dinette. And then it's, very easy to tow. This is 3,500 pounds, maximum loaded capacity, weighs under 3,000 pounds, uh, dry, and it's just a great trailer for, for a great price. I, I love it. And, and here's the thing, Tom, we talk about great price, folks. If you love this Bambi as much as I do, the Bambi 16RB, it's starting at 51550 which is only $12.34 today. Simply text the word FRESH to 46642. Tom, thank you so much. We're out of time. This has been an absolute blast having this staff pick of the week. Thank I you, sir. I love Airstreams. <laughs> <laughs> With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Holy Hannah Montana, what do we have here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bissell Featherweight. It is lightweight at under four pounds. This bad boy is a vacuum on a stick. 
Even better, check this out. Ready? Pow! Now we got a dust buster on a stick, just like that. Take that stick off, now you have a little hand dust buster. Perfect! Not only that, folks, with this bad mamma jamma, hold on. Boom! Now you have a self-defense weapon. You can protect yourself from all the creepy crawlies you got any spiders, you can vacuum them all right up. The best part about this is not only is it a versatile, durable, lightweight unit, but it is also the staff pick of the day, staff pick of the week. The week, folks, that means you get 15% off, and all you have to do is text DEALS. That's right, folks, 15% off. This thing is perfect for the RV. It's great at home in the closet. It's perfect if you have maybe a young one going to the dorm. This featherweight right here will do all of it. Honestly, it really is great. Um, as I mentioned, the fact that it goes from something on a stick, I really like this. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but if, how hard is it, right, to clean kind of along the baseboards, you need to get underneath that sofa. This will allow you to do it. It's plenty long, and as I mentioned, it's under four pounds. I know that's a huge thing for my wife. It does make it very easy to take out for quick spot cleans. The kids spill some Cheerios, right? This one right here is capable of cleaning it up, and it's bagless, meaning you don't have to constantly replace them. Just pop it out, dump it. You are good to go. Folks, you don't want to miss out on this one. Stores easily in the pantry, underneath the bed, underneath the sofa. As I mentioned, you can take that off to make it store just about anywhere in your RV. All you have to do is text the word DEALS. This is the staff pick of the week. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We are doing it. We are closing out this incredible <laughs> week with an ultimate giveaway, guys. We got everybody here. We're so rocking excited. and rolling. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, we are going to give away everybody's ultimate favorite RV. I'm talking about the 2021 Coleman Lantern. Woo! This is the good one that you know all about this oh, one, too, absolutely. Ian. You've talked a lot about it. So you're excited about it. Oh, why wouldn't I be? I it's, can it's tell. It's amazing. <laughs> all right, and before, before we give you guys a chance to, to – I want you guys to announce the grand prize winners – uh, I want to take a moment, just real quick, thank all of you for tuning in. Last week, it was a record. We had almost 3 million people tuning amazing, in. Amazing. This week, I, we don't have the numbers yet, but thank you to each and every one that has commented, that have texted us, that has told us, that have told us what you think. How incredible has our crew been behind the scenes to make sure all the protocols are follow, so uh, followed and that we are able to bring this show directly to you? Because next week... We're heading to Florida, but before we do, what do we got to do? We have a, we're doing our giveaway. Let's do it. Woo! And the winner, Woo! You got the winner here. Uh, do you have the winner? We forgot the piece of paper. We forgot uh, the winner. Uh, uh, oh, the they haven't done it yet. Here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, the this is live. The random winner. It's we're really live. ramping we're just, this up now. The anticipation's is, killing me. Is. <laughs> that is incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, first, it, did you say what it was? I did. All right. <laughs> so for the Coleman Lantern the LT17B trailer goes to Pam Carter. Pam, Pam Carter! Yes, Pam. Yeah, you know what Pam. Pam has just done? She's just joined the family of people that are well going done. off the road uh, and having a good time. It. Or on the road, I guess on you should road. say, right? Yeah, absolutely. Off or on the road, you never know. In a trailer. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Guys, you know where we're heading? We're heading to Florida. Warmer weather. Uh, we're going to head out to Florida. And we're going to start Flamingos. live on Thursday. Ian, I know you're going to be busy. You're actually going to take a little break, and Chris is going to be with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get a little crazy next week. Oh. <laughs> but where are you guys staying when you're heading down? We're uh, Actually, we're going to park next to our favorite people over here. We're going to go to Lake. Neighbors. We're going to kayak. Oh, oh uh, Caleb's going to make us some charred steak. Oh, we're going to make some charred yeah, we'll steak. We'll be in Georgia for a little bit, then down to Florida. Mm -hmm. It's going to be going to be great. All right, we're we looking also, forward to it. We also, again, we're hiding another ultimate treasure on our Instagram. Whoever finds it first gets it for $500 at Camping World. So follow us at the Jurgies on Instagram as well for that. All right, at the Jurgies, and of course, us the Remingtons. Ian, you want to take us out of here? 
Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Much appreciated. And stay tuned for week three. Oh, from Florida. We'll see you next week.